Hello and welcome to this latest video. Uh, this video is going to be about Windows 10 and how to protect it a bit more and make it a bit more private. By default when Windows 10 comes uh, installed it's got a lot of options enabled which allows Microsoft to track what you're doing, uh, searches that you're doing, advertising and everything else. Uh, what we're going to do here is just have a look through some of these options, disable them where appropriate and enable some uh, best practice security settings. So first off we're going to click on the star button or the Windows flag Click on the little tag for settings and then first of all we'll go to update and security if we click on this and we'll go in here and just make sure that windows update is set uh, to automatically update as you see here we've got the latest feature release 1903 uh, it's advisable to install the latest version as as and when you can pretty much it gives you new features fixes a lot of bugs issues and everything else if you click on advanced options you can have a look at some more options down here. What you want to have a look at is delivery optimization. If you click on this option here, you can see some options where it says allow downloads from other PCs enabled. Now what you want to have a look at is make sure this is actually set to PCs on my local network. If it's actually set to PCs on my local network and PCs on the internet, it's actually going to send some information to the internet and from the internet just to download updates faster. Depending upon how paranoid you are or how sensitive you are to information, that might not be a good thing. So just make sure it's set to PCs on my local network. And then additionally, on the uh, updates, you can go into here, just make sure everything's downloaded. And the next thing you want to do is click on Find My Device under Settings. So we'll click on Find My Device. And here it's actually turned off because it's in the virtual machine that I'm using on. But in your version, it might be enabled. Depending upon what you want to do, you could actually turn that off just by clicking the change button. What Find My Device does is if you've got a laptop and you lose it, you can actually go to a Microsoft website and track where your laptop is. As soon as it powers on, you can get the information. Now, obviously, if someone else takes your laptop, manages to get in, they could potentially get in, track where your devices are and everything else. Ideally, it's recommended to be turned off if, if you want to. Next thing we're going to do is click back into settings again and we're going to go to Cortana. Cortana is Microsoft's AI helper sort of thing for Windows. It also has a lot of embedded features in within Windows um, and you can monitor the microphone and response to searches and all sorts of things. If you're not going to use it or if you don't want any third party applications accessing or listening to your conversations here it is where we can turn it off so to disable Cortana we can just say click on that turn it off so Cortana won't respond to hey Cortana and additionally you can turn off the keyboard shortcut for it and another thing you should probably do is if you don't want to use it is disable Cortana even when your device is locked the last thing you want to do is have your machine locked you're out of the office or out of the room someone comes in and says hey Cortana and it starts listening to you and doing things. So just turn that off as well. And then all these are all turned off. What you can do is next go to permissions and history. And in here, this is safe search. This is what Cortana can see and use for when you're actually searching for when you're in the cloud or using Windows, you can tell Cortana to go and search for anything on the net and it'll store it depending on how strict you are or how sensitive you are again. You might want to turn this off so it doesn't store anything in the cloud. Again, you could turn the activity off for your history and turn the device history off as well. That just disables every all this history settings and everything that Cortana uses for your computer. Makes it nice and secure. And then another bit we're going to do is again, go to settings and then privacy. This is where the majority of your settings are for privacy and ID capturing and everything like that within Windows. In here, you go to the general page for the privacy options, and you can just turn all these off. Uh, this one here is just for how advertising works. It it tailors the advertising to your needs so based upon usage tracking and stuff. So you can turn that one off. This one here um, will provide, I guess, content and everything that's local to yourself by geotagging. So again, you can turn that one off. And then this one just generates information and gives it back to Microsoft to let it know how to improve Windows pretty much. It'll track some information about the start and search results, what's been done. 
Not too much personal information, but again, it sends information back to Microsoft. If you don't want that to happen, just take, turn that to off. And again, the suggested content in the settings app. Again, that depending upon what you're searching for and what you're doing, it might actually generate some information and send it to Microsoft. So you can just turn that one off there. And then in app permissions down here, you can click on this. And again, this is just where we were before, but you can make sure that your location's turned off. Uh, you clear your location history so it's not stored in Windows anymore. And then you can also define what applications can actually use your location. Obviously, if you turn the device off for location or geotagging, all these are automatically turned off for you. Microphone, if you click on this, you can actually uh, manage what applications and what devices have access to your microphone. If you if you don't want anyone access to your microphone, if you don't use a microphone, um, you can just click on this, change it to turn off. Again, if you don't want any applications to use a microphone, such as um, Skype or Teams or anything like that, you could just click on that and say turn off. And again, you see all these turned off like that. Another one is camera. Again, there's a lot of people and a lot of malware at the moment which could potentially um, enable your camera without you knowing. You can just make sure that that's clicked there, turn that off, and then also enable allow apps to your camera to turn off. And that makes sure that all the applications are turned off. It's just one extra layer of security for you. Now, those are a few settings for you. Um, enabling these or disabling these in this case will actually help your Windows 10 be a lot more secure, uh, enables your privacy. Uh, so not, Microsoft doesn't get information about what you're doing on the computer. So we hope this helps. And um, yeah, if you've got any questions or feedback, feel free to put it down in the comments below this video. I'd appreciate it if you actually subscribe uh, to the Terabyte channel. We're pushing out a lot more uh, videos at the moment just to try and help people secure your operating systems, securing your computers and making your life a little bit easier through cybersecurity if possible.